Hello everybody and welcome to an updated tutorial on how to install Rock Band 4 to Shad PS4, PS4 emulator. First thing you're going to want to do is get the custom branch that works with Rock Band 4, the Shad PS4. Uh, I'll have this linked in the description. Top commit is the one you're always going to want to go for. Grab the one for your, uh, your operating system, Linux, Mac OS, Windows. I've already got the Windows one. Um, you're also going to need the game, either 1.08 or Latest Rivals. It is recommended to use uh, 1.08 for most things. AMD can run Rivals um, without any problems, but you will not, will not be able to play DLC uh, or custom songs, which I will also be showing off. So once you have Shad PS4 downloaded, uh, extract the zip file anywhere. I'm going to put it on my H drive because that's where I have the most storage right now. Uh, open up Shad PS4. It's going to ask for a directory. Uh, give a new games folder. You can put this anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the same folder as Shad just for simplicity. Okay. And since I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I want to show off DLC, I will be installing version 1.08 here. Uh, if you have this in update format, you're going to have to download and install 1.0 first, and then install the 1.08 patch or the Rivals 2.21 patch. Once that is done, go into the games folder, open up this Kusa 02084, drag this libfmod and this libfmod studio prx files into SCE module. Next, you're going to want to download the files from this Google Drive, the Rock Band 4 patches. There's also one for 2.21. I'll have this all linked in the description. Black background, this is required for the game to run. Activate on left D-pad is required if you want to activate overdrive, and it will bind it to left on the D-pad. Uh, once you've got that downloaded, grab them. Drag in the files, copy, replace. Uh, you can make backups if you want, uh, I'm not going to. Copy the activate on left d-pad, replace, and that's done. Now you are ready to play the game, for the most part, if you have a controller that works. If you do not have a controller that is supported by Shad PS4 out of the box, here are the controls that you're going to need. Left, This left key is activate. Uh, this is D-pad, this can stay the same uh, for my guitar. Uh, and W is whammy. Numpad 2 is green. Numpad 6 is red. Numpad 8 is yellow. And numpad 4 is blue. Left shoulder, Q is orange. Start is enter. And I have select here bound to left to activate. It's not actually select, but that's just how you activate. There is no select button on PS4s. That's pretty much all the buttons you need to know. A uh, couple of things you're going to want to change in Shad PS4 before you start the game. Uh, change the log filter, asterisk, asterisk, colon sign, and critical with a capital C. In general, you can enable full screen if you want. In graphics, change the width and height. I'm going to change them to 1920 by 1080. This is not necessary. And the V blank divider, if you want to run at higher than 60 FPS, bump it up to maximum. This also helps with stability in rivals. So it's recommended to bump it up no matter what. You're going to get very high FPS with this emulator. Save that. And now you're going to have to close out of Shad PS4 for one change in the config.toml file. It's this input here. Uh, change use special pad to true. This will allow you to use a guitar or drum kit. Pad class 1 is guitar, pad class 2 is drums, and if you just want to use uh, vocals, which you can't. I don't think you can right now. I don't think Shad PS4 currently supports microphones, but you would just set this to false, as the default is a standard DualShock 4 controller. Once that's done, you can open up Shad, and you can play the game. 
Next is installing DLC or customs. It's it's pretty simple. Um, if you're if you don't have converted customs, um, watch my Rock Band 4 customs tutorial. I have a link in the description, of course. Um, I already have one right here. Install the DLC. One quick addition I'd like to point out: if you have a very large um, pack of songs, it might fail to install with the install button in Shad PS4. Take this Guitar Hero 3 custom pack I have. It just crashes the emulator. Well, you can fix that by going to User, Add Cont, Kusa, and you ca you have to manually extract this GH3 to RB4. I'm going to be using PS4 Package Viewer for that. Just go ahead and drag that in. Extra. Extract Package. Same place it was. That's fine. It's going to take a bit. And there you go. Extracting is complete. And close out of that. Go here. Go into the Image 0 folder. Open this incomplete, or if it doesn't have one, just create one with the same name as the package is called and copy it over and then the sc0 stuff goes into se sys but it's it was already there so there you go and now if i reopen shad ps4 reopen the game i see it loaded too and there's our Guitar Hero 3 songs. Press red to skip the that menu, and uh, you can either skip temporarily, or just completely skip freestyle solos, they're not important. And if I go here, change the sorting to date acquired, there's our custom song. If I go ahead and load it up, So as you can see the game's working just fine, just keep in mind that the more you play on a single boot it will get glitchier and glitchier until eventually the game will likely crash. So don't play the game for too long, just go ahead and close out of Shad PS4 and restart it and you should be good to go. That's all for today, thank you for watching, I'm Lizix, peace out.